welcome you all i'm going to show you how to withdraw your money from the actual shopify so guys the very first thing you want to do is to have an actual shopify account if you don't have one you have the link down below in the description so we can all get started sort of for free now let's say let's assume for example that i have a few accounts a few um orders have already been made it up and somebody has already been paid at me inside my actual account so what i wanted to do is to go directly into my shopify let's go into the dashboard what you wanted to do here, once we are here into the Shopify, what we wanted to do is to access your payout inside your Shopify dashboard in order to find the settings tab. It will be appearing here into the left part that says settings. Let's locate and click into payment or payout, depending on the version of the Shopify you're using. Now, this is where you manage the flow of money from your actual sales. This is the part which you wanted to review and confirm the actual payout. You should see a summary of your available balance and any pending payouts. Review this information to ensure you the withdrawal the correct amount. So you clicked on the withdrawal funds or a similar option to initiate a payout process. For example, here, I do have my PayPal account. I have a connected account. And lastly, I don't have, I don't need to have this automatic payments disabled. I need to have this enabled. Now, in this case, this one is disabled because this actual website is an actual free trial. But in your case, you needed to have the automatic payments enabled. Otherwise, you are not going to be having your money send it directly inside your account. So Shopify provides a very withdrawal methods, including the bank transfer and other payment uh, options, depending on your location. So you wanted to choose the withdrawal method that aligns with your preferences. So you might need to enter additional details such as your bank information and so much more. Now, these actual elements depends on what is the actual payment provider that you chose. For example, if I choose a Stripe account provider, the Stripe has their own instruction, has their own methods and their own process to initiate the elements and to receive the actual money inside Shopify. So this is actually totally different from Shopify. So before you make all these elements, you want to make sure that you have active order, you have active sales directly into your store. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go directly into the orders. And here into the orders, you should see that we have all the orders that have already been set up. Here's the total of our orders. And you wanted to make sure that all of them appears as paid. So once somebody purchases an actual item, this one should be sent directly into the payment method that I enabled. If you haven't enabled a payment method, that might be the reason why you are not able, you haven't been able to redeem it that money into your bank account. This is the part where you wanted to add an actual payment inside Shopify. So whether you wanted to choose a payment provider, choose PayPal, choose even a bank deposit or a manual payment method, such as a money order, cash on delivery, or even create a custom payment method. So just lastly, use confirmed after selecting the withdrawal method and providing any necessary details, confirmed the withdrawal. Shopify may prompt you to verify your identity to prove additional information for security purposes. So complete any required steps to finalize the withdrawal. Lastly, as just an actual trial, we completed an actual payment directly from PayPal that was already been active here. Of course, zero transaction fee and this trial, this let's say example, was sent directly into my PayPal account exactly the same day in less than 20 minutes, I believe. So automatically, this one actually works. So what you wanted to do is that once the withdrawal is initiated, the monitor the status in your Shopify dashboard, you're likely to receive email notifications or see updates into your administrator panel. This ensures transparency and keeps you informed about the progress of your withdrawal. In our case, it wasn't actually that hard to receive the email notification that the automatic uh, payment has, sent it been, has been sent, of course, into my PayPal account. So once again, this totally depends on what is the actual payment provider that you chose. If you wanted to see more about any specific withdrawal for any specific third party provider, you can let us know into the comments below. But this is how, guys, we can uh, move from Shopify account directly inside your uh, new payment provider and receive your money. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more e-commerce inside, and hit that notification bell, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, it was very useful for you. And of course, hopefully, we can all see you next time.